Hello everyone. Today we are going to talk about representation of stacks using sequential organization, that is arrays. Part of data structures using C++ course. Here is an example of how you can represent a stack using sequential organization in C++. In this example, a stack class is implemented using an array in C++. The class takes an integer size as an input to initialize this stack array. The top variable keeps track of the index of the top element in the stack. The array variable is an integer array that stores the elements of the stack. The useful method returns true if the top is equal to the size minus one which means the stack is full. The is empty method returns true if the top is equal to minus one, which means the stack is empty. The push method is used to add an element to the stack. Before adding the element, the method checks if the stack is full using the is full method. If the stack is full, it prints stack overflow and returns if the stack is not full, it increments the top variable and assigns the new element of the array top position. The pop method is used to remove the top element from the stack. Before removing the element, the method checks if the stack is empty using the is empty method. If the stack is empty, it prints stack underflow and returns int underscore min. If the stack is not empty, it decrements the top variable and returns the value of array top. The peak method returns the value of the top element in the stack without removing it. Before returning the value, the method checks if the stack is empty using the is empty method. If the stack is empty, it prints stack is empty message and returns int underscore min. If the stack is not empty, it returns the value of array top. And the main method instantiates the stack class and uses all the methods in the stack class. Hope this was helpful. Thank you for watching.